hello guys so today's video is all about how we can test our basic functionality and callback functions in node.js so for writing test cases for basic functionality and callback functions what I have done is I have created two functions that is add number and add number callback so I will be using these two functions for showing you how we can create test cases so if I go in my calculator.test.js file you can see that I don't have anything right now so the first thing which I need to do is I need to use chai which I have been using from, uh, from my previous applications so let me simply create a variable for chai after that I am going to use the expect of chai so I will simply say constant expect is equal to chai dot expect so this is how we call expect so after that since I want to use the functions in my calculator so I'm going to create another variable let me say calci which is going to require calculator just file so once I have done this I will simply go and create a describe block I will say test my calculator inside that I will create a context and I will say that I want to add two numbers and inside this context what I will do is I will create a test case it to numbers so for testing my function I will start using my expect and I will simply say expect calci dot I will call my function add number I want to pass here 2 and 2 over here I will say it should be equal to four so this is a correct result so let me quickly open a command prompt so I will say reveal in explorer simply go over here and type the command so this is the shortcut which can be used so what I can do is I will simply say npm test to check that my test was successfully written so let me run this so as soon as I run this 
it has started execution of the command so it's saying that test failed so let's see what is the issue so context over here should have been small let's see run the test now we can see that the tests are passing two tests are passing so it's like taking from my previous video one more test so let me comment this out or let me uh, delete this file simply say So I am moving these files to recycle bin. Let me remove this also. So now let's say I want to see that my test was working or not. If I simply put 5 over here and I run my command so it should be showing like one test is failing. So running npm test command it shows that it's failing the expected was 4 but it's uh, showing as 5 so after doing this what I will do is I will show you how we can test for callback functions so let me quickly go and create a new context add callback let me call this let me say callback add test over here what I will be doing is I will be calling my variable with add number callback so over here what I am going to pass is the number of variables so 1 2 and I need to pass a callback so callback would basically be error and some result So if I go inside this, I will be getting my result in this variable. So let's first of all make a check to see that there are no errors. So I am saying once expect error to not exist so I'm saying that there should not be any error and after that I will say expect result to equal 3 so if I run my test now what I will be getting is like I will be getting a error which is going to say that uh, it's timed out so let me run it and show you so now it's saying npm error test field 3 over 4 more examples right process timed out so for using callback functions we need to make use of done so simply what we can do is like we can call done in our test case and we can close it over here let me correct this 
result so let me say 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 let me save it once again if I run my test everything should be passing so now we can see that the test was passing it has uh, the other one took me 505 milliseconds because I have put a delay to show you how we can use the callback functions if you like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon also please do share this video with your friends thanks for watching this video